Okay, what's up? So I want to show you some of the cool ways that I've been using Midjourney in combination with Blender to make some really weird but cool stuff. So here's some examples of um, some images where I've used some of the techniques that I'm about to show you here. But let's just um, open up Blender and I'll just kind of show you what you can do with this. So if you don't know what Midjourney is, um, this is not the video for you. I'll just link to a video of like how this works and what it does. But basically, it's just one of these AI image generators. So here's some of the stuff that I've been using it to create. So you can see it's just um, you type in what you want to see and then it just makes it. So pretty, pretty crazy, pretty feels a little bit like using black magic or something. It's a bit scary, but um, let me show you some of the cool patterns and stuff you can make with it. So it's really nice for creating textures that you can use um, inside of Blender for like using it as sculpting uh, stencils or emissive surfaces or um, roughness maps or so, there's so much stuff you can do with it. I'll show you in a second, but let's just open up Blender and I can kind of give you an idea of how powerful this is. You can you see I was using one in here. Let's just add, uh, here's just a basic scene of just a plane, a light and nothing else. So let's add, um, just for example sake, let's try a circle. Let's do 64 on the vertices. So it's just, I'll just go to solid mode so you can uh, see this, just this. Uh, I'll just fill it with a face. So F, I guess I should turn on the uh, screencast keys. People have been asking for that actually. So just a basic circle, nothing special, literally a circle. Let's do, so let's do a new texture and let's grab, I have a folder on my desktop of just all the mid journey stuff I've been making. So here's some cool, patterns and stuff. I'll show you the, the prompts that I've used to like make these in a second, but here are some of the things that I've been using to, to make. So like, um, I really like these like intricate engravings with like eyes and stuff. So let's try one of those. Let's just drop that into here. I can just drag and drop that in. Uh, and then let's run that into the emission. So it's going to look like if I just unwrap it with a cube projection, uh, it'll look like that. We can just move it around. And then let's run that into the alpha as well. So we get transparency and then color ramp just to dial in exactly where that cuts off. So there we go. And then if we come back to the plane, there's too much light in here. I'll just move that over here. Um, so you can see what, what that's doing, just transparent thing. Maybe let's flip it this way and then pull this back, pull this up a little bit. And then what might be cool is if we mix it in with like 3D geometry because we're in Blender. So let's add maybe a UV sphere. Um, I'll just keep this, the default is 32, but I'll just keep it on 64. Um, yeah, shade that smooth and then let's create maybe a glass material. So just transmission up, roughness down. Um, and right away you can see there's going to be a lot of crazy stuff we can do with this. So let's maybe scale that down. Let's actually, I should name these. so. It's going to be a lot of overlapping meshes, so I'll just name this um, middle, or let's call it emission, whatever. Uh, let's call this uh, glass on the material, and maybe on the object as well. Okay, so let's duplicate this sphere right here, just Shift D, and then uh, let's take, just delete that glass new thing on here, and then let's take maybe a different texture from here. So maybe like this thing, um, let's just drop that in, run that into the emission and then the alpha again. Maybe let's uh, cube project that again, even though it's a sphere, whatever. Uh, it's, it's gonna be some weird scenes, but you can't even see what's going on here. So it doesn't matter. Again, color ramp into the alpha so we can just dial in exactly where that should be. And so right now we have three objects and we have all this complexity. Uh, it's a bit too much, but you can see how much detail we can get instantly by just loading in some of these ridiculous images. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Let's ooh, let's put that there. Maybe let's do another circle. So let's take the uh, emission, duplicate that, Alt R, and then just pull it down. I think I moved it, but whatever. And then let's open up another thing in here. Maybe let's generate a new image, and I can show you how how to actually do this. So. Let's go slash imagine. Um, I've been liking these Aztec, Aztec engravings. 
here's the thing I just typed in, a circle of intricate Aztec patterns and symbols, metal, and here's what it gave us. So it's, it's kind of hit or miss if it's gonna give you like a, a front perspective where it's like a head on view. So you can use it as like a 2D texture. Um, so it might work better to do like, uh, let's do let's do like um, a a two D circle of Aztec patterns, maybe like with a whole. Or let's do let's do one of these eye things. Um, let's try two D Aztec engraving of an eye, and just send that in and just see what that does. Um, sometimes if you do two D, it like. I don't know if that actually helps give it this perspective. It's kind of weird what what you say that how that translates to like if it's going to be a two D image or not. Um, but the reason I want it as a two D image is so I can use it <clears throat> as an image texture. As it, sorry, as an image texture like I'm showing you here. Because these these ones where it's like three D and it has a perspective to it just don't. It's not going to line up well when we try and like project it onto a, an object. So yeah, these are kind of cool. So let's take one of these. Um, once this is done, yeah, this is what I was talking about. So let's do, I don't know, this one. So this is, the way this works is like tile one, two, three, four. So we can either create variations or upscale each one of those. So let's do upscale four. Um, so it's gonna take this one and just make it in high res or higher res. It's not that high res, it's only like 1080p, but whatever. Works for this. Okay, so this is done. I'm just gonna right click, save this, and then go to my desktop, this big folder of just mid-journey stuff. And then let's just go back to Blender. I'll just take this thing, make it a unique texture, and then click this button again so it loads in the right image. Find the thing I just made, open that, and then, oh, hang on. There we go. Okay, pop that in here. Um, so yeah, pretty, Crazy. So again, that's just this image running into the emission and then the, the alpha. Let's make the color black so it's not reflecting light. And then maybe we could probably use the same thing on like this thing. So just put it into the color, uh, maybe metallic, and then maybe the roughness too. So just unwrap that. Uh, just color ramp. Uh, just bring this down a little bit. I'd probably want to use an actual texture, not just the mid journey thing on this, but just uh, so we have something, I'll just quickly throw it on, whatever. And I don't think I want it metallic. So yeah, this is just using a few simple things in here. Like I, I can scroll up and show you the actual prompts that I use for some of these. Like, um, uh, so here's something that works cool. Like I typed in a Da Vinci style depiction of a human brain and got like weird patterns like this, or um, here's the one I did for this one, a metal engraving of an eye made of unlimited fractals. So you can just, you can just go crazy with it and get some really, some really cool stuff that doesn't exist. Like I've kind of showed this workflow before of using image textures as, you know, emissive surfaces, but with this, it just takes it to a whole nother level because you can create, or you can get images of stuff here that doesn't even exist at all. Um, just like really crazy patterns and stuff that you wouldn't ever think to to make yourself. Um, so yeah, like engravings of mushrooms and stuff, like really, it's really fun using this to like generate intricate patterns that you can use in here. Um, so yeah, hopefully that gives you some ideas of like how you can use this. I wanna do a video on using this as um, like a sculpting stencil so you can like create like engrave actual patterns into a 3D object. I'll do a video on that soon, but so yeah, obviously this is not a finished thing. It's just um, to kind of do a demo and show you the kind of stuff that you can make with this, but um, hopefully that gives you some ideas. I'd, I'd suggest like go and get creative and try other ideas. Like don't just copy exactly what I was doing here. Um, copy the, the idea of like using this technique, but like try other patterns and shapes and ways of putting these things together. And uh, yeah, hopefully that was useful. I'll see you around. Peace.